Howdy! Today I want to show you how you can style links on the Event Espresso registration forms and make them look a little more button-like, make them stand out a little better. So here I've got a standard um, Event Espresso registration form and I got a couple links here, one here, one there, and they just don't stand out very well. This is actually an add to cart link which if you're in the editor you can add by um, if you have the multi-event registration add-on it's just a little short code and I got some anchor text it'll direct it'll redirect to the, to the cart but it just doesn't stand out so we want to make these more button like I'd like to start when I'm making buttons with a button maker like this this is kind of a nice one from CSS tricks we can change up all kinds of things, sizing and border radius and uh, we can go fancy with the colors but we're not going to do that. So we'll just stick with something real simple here and um, it looks good. We'll, it'll spit out this code here that we can copy and where do we copy this to? Well, we're going to be copying it to our child theme style.css file. If uh, you're not familiar with WordPress child themes, that's the, the best way to customize your theme. Some commercial themes, like from Woo themes, they'll, they'll give you a, a spot in your theme options to add custom styles like this. Also, if you have the Jetpack plugin, you can add um, CSS with their CSS editor. But we're going to stick with this. Now button class here, this button class is not going to work because our links are not, um, don't have a, a button class. So we have to find out what our classes are so we can apply them here, here, and here. We're going to use our little friend, um, the inspector. And in this case, we got a couple classes that we can work with. But I like the EE view cart, EE underscore view underscore cart. So we'll go with that one. That will actually style all the view cart links too on the site. So we'll go back into our style sheet and start making some adjustments. So it's, it's an um, EE view cart. And um, just copy those along there. Save it. Check it out. Our text is way too dark. In fact, there's a few things going wrong here. What's gone awry? Um. I didn't add I didn't add hover and I didn't add active. The other thing the other thing we want to do is um, this color of white is not it's not coming through. That's better. But we still have that little issue there. And that's because we've got another style rule that's coloring it something else that's a little more specific. So we will, we got a couple ways we can do this. One way is to um, use this little sledgehammer, but that always kind of makes me a little sad. Um, so I'm going to try this and um, this just is a uh, Kind of using the specificity. Ah, can't say it. Specificity. We'll try that. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. Now we can apply that same styling down here to this link too. Now in this case, we've got two classes to choose from. I like the additional dash attendee 
wink. No I wink. Well, so we'll go ahead and um, add these in each case. Um, So what you do is you comma separate these and and we're going to have to do this one too I'm sure. Now we could just go and um, copy all these this code and, and add the different classes, but it's a lot cleaner just to comma separate the selectors there. So we've got a more button styly link there, but these are kind of sitting on top of each other. So we need to make a couple more adjustments here real quick. So First thing we need to do is give it um make those like a block level element so we can give them but we don't want them to stretch across the container. Okay, that's a little better, but they're still you give them a little bit of um margin at the bottom so that, that gave us a little space here give us a little bit of space here that can be tweaked if need be that's it that's how you do it um, make any link on a page more like a button and um, you can apply this to other links elsewhere on the site Thanks for watching.